Wonders of the First is a new CCG based on fighting units called Wonders. Wonders come in all shapes and sizes, spread across many worlds. In Wonders of the First, you are a stone seeker and your goal is to conquer the seven realms and seize the stones scattered across them. If you control the most stones after seven rounds, you win the game. Let's jump into a battle for the stone in Realm 4. You seize a stone by attacking with your wonders. When you attack, you look at the power stat of your wonders. Add up the total power of all of your wonders in that realm. Our total is 11. Compare the total power of enemy wonders in that realm. Their power is 8. The highest total wins the battle and seizes the stone. But be careful, because if your opponent gets more power on a later turn, they can attack you and steal your stone. Let's go to the start of the game. Each player brings a deck of 50 cards. A deck can have three copies of each secondary, two of each primary, and one of each legendary. When you're deck building, each card has a build point value. If you want to, you can add up the point value of all the cards in your deck and use it for matchmaking with the other player's deck. So you'll know ahead of time if it's going to be a good match. To start the game, each player shuffles and draws seven. Then they can put up to three cards on the bottom and draw cards to get their hand back up to seven. At the start of each round, a new realm will unlock. Then players will draw a card and then get two types of resources automatically. You get energy used to pay card costs and three actions used to play, attack, or draw. On round one, the first realm unlocks. Players can only play cards in that realm. On round two, the next realm unlocks, and you can now play in either realm one or two. By round seven, all the realms are unlocked, and you can play cards in any of them. So strategic options increase with every round. Let's cover energy. You use energy to pay the cost of a card when you play it from your hand into a realm. At the start of each round, each player gains energy equal to the round number. So three energy on round three, four energy on round four, and so on. In addition, each stone you control gets you plus one energy. The last resource is actions. At the start of each round, each player gets three actions. On your turn, you spend an action to do one of three things. Play a card from your hand to a realm, attack in any unlocked realm, or draw a card. There are also some cards that let you spend an action to use their abilities. Each time you use an action, you pass the turn to your opponent, and then they can use an action. Players alternate turns using actions until they're both out of actions and the round ends. You can choose to play, draw, or attack in any order, or even choose the same option multiple times. For example, player one could use all three of their actions to draw three times in a row. At the end of round seven, the player with the most stones is the winner. Tiebreaking is based on who has the most total power of wonders on the board. In addition to wonders, there are also lands, items, and spells. Lands stay in a realm and can help you play cards by reducing their energy cost, giving you extra actions, and unlocking certain restricted cards called core cards. Items stay in a realm and have an ongoing effect. Many items are equipment, which equip to a wonder and boost its abilities. And spells have a one-time effect and are discarded. One more thing to note, some cards can tap to activate abilities, but there's no untap step. Abilities that require tapping are usually one-time use per game, and tapped cards can attack and defend and operate normally. There are lots of interesting keyword abilities, like Portal, Horde, and Attuned, and you'll have fun exploring them and finding cool combinations. Now you know the high-level rules of Wonders of the First. We also have rules for limited and multiplayer hero formats coming soon. Check out our website to keep learning more. Good luck, Stoneseeker, and may you always have the last attack.